What's going on guys? So I decided to bring my solar stuff and battery boxes inside the shed. I had thought about putting on the outside, uh, building a little box and having everything out there, but if you're like me, I like to check this stuff, you know, and come out and look at it and stuff. So if it's raining or something, you know, if to go around the back of the building and there's no cover for me, it doesn't really make sense when I can, you know, sit here in the in the building with the roof on it, you know, and come out and check my solar stuff and hang on. There we go. Look my face look blurry. You know, I can come out here and uh check this stuff and watch it rain and everything and watch my rain barrels so it makes more sense to me so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set me up on this wall here this this building the shed is set up on uh, grid power right now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put me build me a little shelf in here right in here where this line is and come out and then I'm going to run me a uh, suicide plug for you guys that don't know uh, how to do that it's just it's just wiring electrical cord with two male ends on it and then just going from the inverter over to your regular outlet now I'm going to disconnect from the uh, grid power way before I do any of this stuff so for you guys that don't know how to do that stuff you uh, might want to seek a professional help because you don't want to plug it in right here if your main power is on you know if you're connected to the grid Okay, so we're going to build a shelf in here. I'm just going to build it real quick and then show you all later, you know, uh, what it looks like. Because all I'm going to do is just put me a 2 before 4 right here, screw it in. A little 2 by 4 on this wall, screw it in. Put the plywood on it and just screw it on the 2 by 4s It's not nothing that, you know, it need a big explanation or anything. Well, here's the start to it, guys. I got it up on the wall. It only took me like 30 seconds to put it up. Probably what I'll end up doing, I don't have a uh, another 2 before right now, but probably what I'll do is put a brace, you know, on this corner down to the floor, or even, you know, a brace down to the corner of the wall. It's pretty stable, but it's moving a little bit, but that's not a big deal for what I need it for. I just want to put my batteries down here underneath and my inverter up on this and then some of my gauges and stuff and little uh, meters and things or my uh, charge controller which I can just screw into the wall so I'll start working on that give you guys an idea, guys an idea what it looks like well got everything set up guys and uh, put my battery bank down here you know my two uh, six volt golf cart batteries, wire everything up, got my solar panels right in, my uh, PWM charge controller up here and some things, I gotta tidy it up a little bit, get all that stuff done and uh, my in inverter craps out on me so, something else uh, I'm gonna have to wait to get and see what happens, I don't know, uh, I don't know what's going on with it. It's older crap anyway. Let me show you guys. Sucks. Uh, watch this goofy crap. I don't even know. It's supposed to show voltage and then wattage when you're using it. For some reason this back panel's loose and it's showing all kinds of different numbers. They won't even work. Well, one of them things. Anyway, let's see what we can show you here. What we got set up. Mm. So, I was going to run this stuff up and tidy it up. But I'll have to work on that later when I get me some clips and stuff. Well, thanks for watching, guys.